All right, got a little bit of a rainstorm. Um, this one got on my Versace poncho. Got to make sure that you're styling and profiling when it starts raining. But um, I was gonna share something real quick. <laughs> Uh, this is a pond actually that I'm working on. Hadn't finished. Um, started it. This is when I first got the Bobcat, so I was learning how to uh, use it. Um, I think I used a backhoe on this a little bit and a whole lot of shovel work. But the reason I decided to put a pond here was it was gone. It's gone, but somewhere in here there was a little pool of water, like that. And I noticed when water went in there, it would stay for days. It didn't even evaporate. It would just sit there, just like five inches of water. So what I did is I took my shovel and I dug it out deeper. In fact, I think Lizzie is standing right in front of it. I think that might have been it. I'm not sure. But I dug it out a little deeper. And the water stayed for like almost a week. And certainly stayed muddy for a week, you know, which there was water underneath. So it, it, it let me realize that the clay here is very powdery and there's a lot of bentonite clay here but specifically on the road so all this water would wash down this road my road and fill in there and self-seal so i dug a channel obviously well a gutter channel whatever you want to call it on the side of the road i have all the water being trapped and pushed from this section of the driveway technically it's not a road uh, I don't know if you can see it from here, but it's a, it's a dip, divot in the road. And so all that water, as an experiment, channels over here, falls down into this particular arroyo, goes down and hits that little dam right there, funnels around, ends up in that pond, which isn't finished. But I was making the point that this is actually where I got the idea that uh, the clay here self-seals the ponds. You just got to get the rocks and the silt and the sand out of the clay and it'll self seal. And that's everything that falls off in the bottom of that barrel I use to create ponds. So if you know what, I, if you understand what I'm saying, anywhere you have a lot of really heavy, heavily muddy water with a good clay like a bentonite. Oh, and a pile of dog nitrate in the middle. Thanks. That's probably hope. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you, sir. Um, it will. It, it should self-seal. So we'll see what happens with the rest of these little puddles. I'm not really that interested because I already know that they're, they're going to hold water a lot longer than anywhere else that has water. But in order to automate... Oh, we got more rain coming. In order to automate greening the desert... You got to make ponds in mass, and that's only going to happen with automation. Uh, and if you have a good clay, you can do self-sealing, and there won't be anything to worry about. Oh, I guess one thing while I'm out here. Uh, see all the totes at the top of the hill? That is my water company. So how did the water company? Hey, water company! That's actually where I get the pressure that actually bursts <laughs> the pipes in the trailer, as well as provide my shower water but anyway looks like we got we might have a little more rain coming over that hill i don't know if you heard that it's the coyotes and the deer everybody's excited and happy that it's raining it looks like we might get a little bit more and i got a little work to do before that happens so the dogs are all out they're all excited they think that they're going to be able to play in the ponds i don't know if it's going to happen this time brothers but maybe next time all right back to work